Juzi zap, down. Juzi zap, down. All around, all around. Have your free space. Enjoy yourself. Wow. It's your teacher annunciator. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Word questions. What does word questions mean? These are just questions that are in sentence form. For example, let's read question one. A school had 28 classrooms. The governor built eight more classrooms. How many classrooms are there all together? Do you remember our vocabulary corner for addition? Let's go through the vocabulary corner for addition. We said our words are all together. Which other word do you remember? Teacher, we have make. Make was not there. And we said all together. And put together is also there. In a vocabulary corner, we also have plus. In our vocabulary corner, we also had sum. What is the sum of this and this? Which other word are we forgetting? And together, put together, plus sum. So, we are saying a school had 28 classrooms. So, these are 28 classrooms. When the governor visited the school and realized that this school needed eight more classrooms, he decided that this year I'm going to add more eight classrooms. So how many classrooms were there all together? Let's see. Which method do you prefer us to use? Teacher, we count on. Very good. I, I'm very happy you remember the method. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now we continue. We said 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So we get the school had how many classrooms? 36 classrooms all together. Very good. What is the sum of 8 and 77? Which two words are in this sentence that tells us that automatically the sign here is a plus? It is the word sum and. They mean a plus. So we are being told 77. Let's use the plus value chart and an 8. Very good. What did we say? The first thing is show us the ones and the tens. Now, we are saying, first we add the ones. What is 7 plus 8? Eight? 8 in the head, 7 fingers out. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You get a 15. And what did we say when you get a 15? Regroup this number into ones and tens. So what will happen? The ones will come here to form a 5. And the tens will go and the tens plus value. So what is seven plus one? Seven plus one becomes an eight. So what is the sum of eight and seventy-seven? The sum of eight and seventy-seven is a seventy-five. Remember to show your working. Remember to show your working. Let's look at example three. What is thirty-one plus six? Thirty-one plus six. Which method do you prefer us to use? Teacher, we count on, very good, 31 plus 6. You can still use the place value chart. We can use the count on, we can use the number line. All those methods are okay. So we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what are we supposed to do? 31 in the head, 6 fingers out. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37. So what is 31 plus 6 is 37. Any question? Now we have five questions in our textbook. Those are the questions you are carrying today for homework. That is on page 46 and 47. Page 46 to 
47. Number 1 to 5. Today's homework. So you go home and with the help of guardians, I want to see that work done. Any question up to there? No? Very good. I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.